which oh. I know you're turning 10. She's turning 10, you guys. How are you 10 years old? That's a big number. Double digits, baby, double digits. Uh. I almost missed those woos. Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. That girl knows something's going on. That girl knows something's going on. That girl knows something's going on. What are we doing? So this morning, you guys, I don't know how much I'll be able to film because it's going to be a little chaotic, but we are, yeah, yeah, you know what i say? We are taking all three dogs to the vet. Now, why are we taking all three dogs to the vet? You may, may be asking. Um, I, yeah, I know, and it's early and you haven't eaten yet. The girls need their health certificates and shot records before we can go to Canada. If you didn't... Can I tell them? If you didn't hear yet, we are going to the Canadian Pet Expo. So if you guys live in or around Toronto and you want to come meet us, we're going to be at the Canadian Pet Expo. And uh, basically what we're doing today is making sure that the dogs have all their paperwork to be able to cross the border. You got all your paperwork? Huh? You got your health certificate? You need all your paperwork and health certificate. That's what we're going to do. We're taking all three dogs to the vet. Are we insane? We're insane. Yeah, I know. I keep thinking that. I'm like, I said something to Ann on the phone yesterday, and I said, they're all good by themselves, but I don't know how they're going to be all together. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll find out. Is this, is this what you guys are going to do in the office? Uh, I think so. <laughs> they, they all know where they are. Oh, I got you. Hi, Kira. How's it going? Hi. Hello. This is crazy. What were we thinking? Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're at the vet. Yeah. What are you yelling for? What are you yelling for? We <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Oh my gosh. We got all three dogs in the room. They just all had the temperatures taken and tried to eat all the cookies. We got a whole thing of cookies in here because, you know, we got to keep them being good. Now they're just going to get their little physicals and then we should be good. Eleanor's the only one that needs a shot. What? Kira's like, hey dad, you're here. Right. I'm gonna come hang out with you. I was checking out the posters. I don't know if you guys have seen this since they redid, they're remodeling the whole office. So it looks all nice and new in here. Kira's like, um, hello, pet me. Okay. Pet me right here. Not bad. It's chaos in here. But they're being good. What are you doing? So, we made it back from the vet. Oh my gosh, your face. They were, look at the muddy feet. They were better than I expected. Memphis is inside. Like they behaved better than I expected. But then of course they come home and go back to that. Yeah, you tell her. So let's go see. I filled this in yesterday. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that I filled one in yesterday. So where'd they dig a new one? Right next to the old one. So this is the one I think I filled in. I don't know if that's a new one or if it's just bigger. <sighs> what am I going to do with you two? Hey, you hungry? You want breakfast? Huh? You hungry? You want breakfast? <laughs> They're like, nope, we're staying out here. We're having a good time. The snow is melting. It's melting. Come on, girls. Let's go to breakfast. You hungry? They're like, no, we're having way too much fun. And we're just going to stay out here forever. Yeah, I could tell. You dug a big giant hole over there. What do you think, ma'am? What do you girls think? They're like, we're watching the snow melt. So, I don't know if they're going to work on it or if I'm going to film it or not, but you see Greg's car out there? You see what's underneath Greg's car out there? When he turned down the road to come to our house, when he turned down the corner, his muffler fell off. They haven't been underneath it yet, so they don't know if it's just a... What are you looking at? Oh, there's a bird. Do you see the bird? They don't know if it's just a couple of straps or if something rusted and broke. You know, that does tend to happen in winter in cars that are a little bit older. Sometimes cars that are a little bit newer as well. So I don't know if they're going to work on that today or not. I mean, they at least have to tie it up. But they're down doing some videos. What are we doing? So we're waiting for these girls' lunch to be ready. Thought I would bring this up again since, you know, it's here. And I have a little bit of news on this. So if you guys have not ordered your Gone to the Snow Dog Spirit Hoods dog bed, which is the one I just showed you, you should probably do that. Because again, they were limited edition, limited edition, words, sentences, phrases. And uh, I don't actually know how many are left. I should probably ask them how many are left. 
Uh, but I do know that they've been selling quite well. So thank you to all of you that have ordered one. There's the small and the medium. And the small, of course, if you don't have a pet, can be used for a pillow. A bunch of people have sent me that and said that they're using the smalls as pillows, which is cool. They work for cats too. Dan used them for his cats. And Greg actually uses one for his cats. So they work for that as well. But we do have news of a tentative release coming up at the end of April, I think it is. So we got to get the rest of these selling so we can share the next thing. The next two things, actually. I think two of them are coming out at the same time. But we got we to gotta get these beds selling. So if you guys want a, a Spirit Hoods bed, and for those of you that may not have seen it, this is what the back looks like. It says, oops, I'm upside down. It says, gone to the snow dogs on it. And if you're wondering about this beautiful color, for the collaboration that we did with Spirit Hoods, we chose this color because of Shelby. So it was kind of a in memory of Shelby color. They haven't done a color like this yet, so we wanted to do something a little bit different. Eleanor's like, hey, can Eco come out to play? Okay, Eco. I'm here. Start vacuuming. Eleanor's like, yes! Let's play with the eco! Let's play with eco! <laughs> you already vacuumed once today. You don't really have to do it again. But, I mean, I guess there is some more dog hair on the carpet. But it, it vacuumed once today! I think it's Eleanor's new best friend. <laughs> well, they're out there. They're underneath the car. And I think they're just uh, duct taping it together where it came apart. At least for now. Temporary fix is better than nothing. Eleanor's sitting here watching. And then we got the two little angels over there. Just looking so perfect. What are you crying for? What? What's the deal? She's like, I keep hearing Dad go inside and outside. And I haven't figured out what's going on yet. They're just working on Greg's car. Hey, there's no crying allowed. No crying allowed. No crying allowed. There's no need for that. Your tooth's hanging out. Goofy girl. You would almost think there's no mess from the dogs, but somebody exploded a toy somewhere. And what do we have here? Cat dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. You're so cute. Uh, look, there's her balloon. If you guys didn't see it over on Gone to the Snow Dogs on Saturday, we uploaded a really cute video of Kira opening all of her birthday gifts that you guys sent. And speaking of, Memphis has a birthday coming too. So, same kind of thing. We're doing a birthday video for Memphis, just like we did for Kira. So if you guys want to send her a card or a drawing or a package, or make a donation in honor of Memphis's birthday, which no. I know you're turning 10. She's turning 10, you guys. How are you 10 years old? That's a big number. Double digits, baby, double digits. <sighs> okay, well, it's really bright outside. So you guys have been waiting for news and I don't want to like take the whole video to like this really sad level and all that. So don't be sad. We don't have a reason to be sad just yet. We have to stay positive. We have to stay hopeful. That's what we're trying to do. So as you guys know, throughout the past few days, I've been talking about how my sister-in-law, Danielle, my brother's wife, has been in the hospital. Now you guys know my brother and Danielle sometimes are in the vlogs. You know their kids a little bit. John Matthew and Charlotte Rose. Here's a couple videos of them. Okay, say it. What else do you want to say? I want to say good, wonderful, beautiful, warning, potty. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Good, wonderful, beautiful. That's one of the dishwasher morning potty. <laughs> That's what I say. I yeah. do it. Yeah? Your uh, house like, your house are like, I gotta go check this dishwasher. Yeah? And then yes. can you say, is yeah. somebody's birthday? It's somebody's birthday. <laughs> Very good out there. Yeah, and then what do we what do we make the cake? Is it is it chocolate? No. What is it? It's caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Are very, you goofy? That's very sparkly gooey. <gasps> Come here! Wow! You get to go play in the snow? You know what I have at my house that I should go get for you guys? I have a snow tube. What's snow tube? A snow tube. What's a snow tube? It's a tube. Yay! It's a tube that you can play in the snow on. Wow. In the snow. That's a really big snow tube I've ever seen. Yeah. That's what do you think? Hey, Charlotte, can you say? Cousin. Can you say? Guess what we're doing today? 
yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we making a mess? Making a mess. Making a mess. Making a mess. Because you gotta insert cute videos of kids, you know, reciting my YouTube channel stuff. <laughs> They love watching the videos. So anyway, I don't want to draw this out. Long story short, she's been in the hospital for three weeks as of today. Today is March 17th, the day I'm filming this. And a couple of days ago, we did finally get some answers, but we... <laughs> really? But the family wanted to process, we wanted to process, and now we're kind of putting it out there. But if you haven't been following the GoFundMe that I set up for my brother and Danielle during this, then you don't know. But we got the results of the biopsy back for Danielle and it was not the news we wanted. She does have cancer. Again, she had cancer when she was a child. So she was like 11 or 10 I think. But she does have cancer again. Now, what exactly does this mean? Well, if you go to the GoFundMe you can read what Danielle wrote for her personal announcement. I don't want to take that away from her. So like you can go, it's down in the video. Don't feel like you have to donate. If you can, great. If you want to share it, great. The information is being updated there because that's kind of the easiest. Um, also, I know I just said earlier about sending cards to Memphis. Some of you have asked about sending cards and things to Danielle and the kids. We're doing it through our P.O. box. So you can just put gone to the snow dogs. The Lawrence Family, P.O. Box 12, Alpena, Michigan, 49707. It's down in the video description below. Um, but we're doing it that way so that I can collect everything and make sure it gets to them. Oh my. Oh my goodness. What the I understand. I understand. So anyway, the, like I said, the news wasn't what we wanted. She does have cancer again. So if the vlogs are a little weird here... You know, our they're going through a lot, but our whole family is kind of processing through this. We're all working together to make sure that their kids are taken care of. I've been taking care of their dog. I know you guys want to see Sadie and want video of Sadie. I will ask my brother if it's okay. That's why there was no video. What I think I missed a video on Friday. I was going to do a live stream, and then we kind of got the news, and then... I kind of didn't feel like, you know, doing a whole lot. So the vlogs for the next few weeks might be a little different because we can't, you know, really do a whole lot while we're kind of in this waiting period. As of the day I'm filming this, right now there is no plan of action. There's more tests that need to be done before they figure out where we go from here. So really, I also want to take this opportunity to thank you guys, each and every one of you, for the kind words, for the outpouring of support, for everything, you know, Cancer sucks. I lost my best friend to cancer when he was 16 years old. We've, you know, known a lot of people that have had it, fought it, and won. And I believe Danielle fought this before. She could fight it again. I think she can. That's the update. And uh, we are going to go ahead and end this vlog right here and uh, start the next day. What do you think, ma'am? Look at you. You're so long and skinny. And you, you're like a little cat. All right, you guys, <laughs> that's all we have for today's video. As I said, I didn't want to drag everybody down at the end of the video. I told them we're staying positive, we're staying hopeful. That's what we're doing. Because that's how we beat stuff like this, right? We got to be positive about it. We got to be like, we're going to do this. And Danielle has beat cancer in the past, and I think she can do it again. All right, you guys, we hope you, yeah, it's hard to say that, we hope you enjoyed today's video, but we, we hope you got something out of today's video. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Say goodnight, Claudius. I just realized the floor, <laughs> the floor creaks right here. Hmm, interesting. All right, goodnight, audience.